BCA stands for branched chain amino acids. They are called branched because of their structure, which includes a side chain of one carbon atom and three hydrogen atoms. The three bases are leucine, isoleucine, and valine, and they account for around a third of essential amino acids in muscle proteins. What this means is that even though amino acids in general are very important for muscle growth, the three BCAs are key players when you want to promote muscle protein synthesis. Because BCAs are so important to muscle tissue and also help keep blood sugar levels constant, you want to make sure to get enough to support your workouts. But what do BCAs actually do? Studies have shown that BCAs and BCA supplementation can have certain benefits. Science BCAs, especially leucine, are vital to muscle growth. Supplementation can promote muscle protein synthesis and increase muscle growth over time. It can also be used to prevent fatigue for beginners. Other studies have shown that it can improve your immunity by providing energy and helping in the synthesis of new cells. BCA also reduce exercise and does muscle damage which means you suffer from less soreness and get better long-term muscle function and growth. Now the problem with these findings is that they come from studies that looked at people who are not getting enough protein in the first place. Obviously, when you are already getting very little protein, your body will love any additional amino acid and therefore perform better. What you have to know is that you don't have to consume supplements to get your BCAs. Pretty much all quality whole food protein sources are high in them. For example, meat, eggs and dairy products, but also whey protein supplements. I will assume that you are already getting most of your protein from such sources. So the real question we should be asking is, what do BCA supplements do when you consume them in addition to a normal protein intake? And the answer is not too much. Even though there aren't any studies I know of that compare the two scenarios. So one, an ideal protein intake without BCA supplementation and two, an ideal protein intake with BCA supplementation. There is no actual evidence that taking BCAs does anything when you are already getting enough to protein, which indirectly will lead to plenty of BCAs through your normal diet. Now there is one benefit to BCA supplementation that I haven't talked about. People who want to exercise in a fasted state, for example, when working out first thing in the morning, should take them. That's because when you exercise in a fasted state, muscle break breakdown is increased. Too much muscle breakdown will hurt your muscle growth over time, which is why you want to minimize it. Taking a good BCA supplement can prevent muscle breakdown. That's because the amino acid leucine is mostly responsible for the suppression of muscle breakdown, which you get plenty of from BCA supplements. Now, of course, you could also eat something to get your leucine and avoid muscle breakdown. But that would break your fast, which I assume is not what you want to do when you are trying to work out in a fasted state. BCAAs supplements, on the other hand, won't break your fast because they have a very small impact on insulin levels. So the bottom line is that BCA supplements are usually overhyped and not necessary. If you are already getting enough protein, the only situation where they are useful is when you want to or have to exercise on an empty stomach and want to avoid muscle breakdown. That said, how should you take them? Assuming that you are in a fasted state and want to take BCA supplements before your workout, go with a dose of 5 to 10 grams. After your training, you should break your fast and get some additional protein, preferable from whole food sources. But like I said before, it's more important 
to what your total protein than to micromanage your BCA intake. Most people will not exercise on an empty stomach, so they don't have to worry about it anyways. Now, are there any side effects? BCA supplements are generally very safe. If you stick to the recommended daily intake, you will be fine. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.